All right, so this is uh, question 1a. Simplify 2a minus 7b minus 2a minus 3b inside the brackets. So if you followed nicely or if you've been following my postings, this is a test for November. Our online students wrote this test. And the solutions for this, uh, these all questions will be will be put in this video so please watch the video up to the up to the end so here for the first question we needed to consider three steps step number one is supposed to be get rid of the the brackets so just say brackets this is step number one hopefully you can see step number two we needed to arrange the work so whenever you see a question talking about uh, uh, simplification, think about these uh, three steps right over here. So you can see the third one here is uh, subtract, subtract, add or subtract. So these are the three steps considered for us or for you to answer this question one. Okay, so let's start with the first step which is uh, getting rid of the brackets. That will, of course, be 2a minus 7b minus 2, open bracket, a minus 3b, close. So you copy. After copying, you perform step number one, which is getting rid of the brackets. So that means we shall say 2a minus 7, this is a, 7b, so whatever is in front of the brackets, or in other ways, when we say get rid of the brackets, we are simply saying we remove these brackets. But mathematically, we don't just remove them. We need to perform something. So that is to check what is in front of the brackets. This is negative 2. So we shall get this negative 2 multiplied by everything that is inside the brackets, one by one. So that will be negative 2 times a. It's negative 2a. Negative 2 times negative 3b. It's positive uh, 6b. Negative and negative gave us a positive. 2 times uh, 3, it's a 6. You even write the b. That's step number 1. Step number 2, we need to arrange the work. So we check. We've got 2a. Do we have anything else with a here? Yes, there is a minus 2a. This one. We are done with a's. We go to minus 7b. Do you have anything with b here? Yes, it's plus 6b. So we've arranged the work according to like terms. So after that, we now add or subtract. So you can see here we need to subtract 2a minus 2a. That will give us a 0. Negative 7b plus 6b, it will be minus b. Minus B. Okay. So that's what we have. And finally, our answer will just be minus B or negative B. Because 0 minus B, it will be negative B. So this is our solution for question 1. Let's check out question 1B and see what we're supposed to do on a question 1B. So for question 1B, uh, remember we're still on question 1. So this is 1B. So for 1b, we still need to do the same steps we did on question 1a, where I said you are supposed to perform three steps. The first one, you get rid of the brackets, arrange, add, or subtract. So let's check if we've got where we can uh, apply those. Do we have brackets here? Yes, we have brackets. So we need to get rid of the brackets. So we shall say 4, open bracket, x minus 2y then minus there, 3x minus 8y, and close. So here, to get rid of the brackets, we shall start with the 4. We multiply it by everything that is inside the brackets. So it will be 4 times uh, x, that is uh, 4x. 4 times negative 2y, that is negative 8y. We are done here. We come to these brackets. We also check what is it that is in front of the brackets. It's a negative. So this is negative 1. Negative times 3x, that is negative uh, 3x. Negative times uh, negative, it's positive. 
times 8y it's a positive 80y thereafter we arrange the work that's the second step we arrange the work so we have 4x anything with x here it's a minus 3x we are done with x's we say 8y anything with y it's a plus 80y so from this stage we now do the last stage of uh, simplification which is add or subtract so here it will give us x that's because 4x minus 3x it's a 1x which is just x here negative 8 plus uh, 8y it will give us uh, a 0 so it will be plus a 0 these two are the same with different signs so it will give us a 0 we simplify further because uh, x plus 0 it's x. So our answer in this question is uh, x. Let's go to question 2 and see what we're supposed to do on question 2. All right, so we're now on question 2a. So for 2a, this is uh, factorized completely 4x power 2 minus 4. 4x power 2 minus 4. So to factorize this, we, we first copy, that is 4a power 2 minus 4. And then we check what is common here. What is it that is found here and also here? It's actually a 4. So we can write a 4 like this because 4 is found here. Don't write a 2, write a 4. 4 can go into a 4 and it can also go into this 4. So you say open bracket, 4 into 4, x power 2. So it will give us a 1. 4 into 4, it's 1. We shall remain with x power 2. So that is x power 2 minus 4 into 4, it's a 1. So you see, there is a statement here. They've said uh, completely. So if you do this, it means you just get a 1 mark. For you to get 2 marks, you must factorize completely. So you can maintain this 4 the way it looks. And then you use square brackets. Okay, you open, you write x minus 1, okay, and then here x plus a 1. We call this as a difference of two squares. So this is uh, the solution. So let me just talk a bit about difference of two squares because we need to use it time and time. So at this point inside the brackets here, how I came up with this, I wrote it as 2 power 2 minus 1 power 2. What is 1 power 2? It's a, a 2. So you now get the bases. Upon introducing the power 2s here, you get the bases. X is right here. Minus 1 is over here. So the same thing, you now put a plus. And this is what we call difference over 2 squares. Let's check out question 2B and see what we're supposed to do on question 2B. So we're now on question 2b. We need to factorize completely. So let's copy. We have 32x power 2 minus 50. So there's a number which we need first to factorize or to factor out. So that number is a 2. So we write a 2. We shall remain with the 16x power 2 minus 25. So the number 2 here, we divided it. So it is 2 into 32x squared. It gave us 16x squared. Because 2 into 32, it's 16. 2 into 50, it's 25. So now at this stage, we can apply what we call difference of two squares. Where we shall say 2. Let me put the equal sign. 2. And then here we write a 4 power 2. We know that 4 power 2 is the same as 16. We shall say x power 2 minus 5 power 2, of which we know that 5 power 2 is a 25. So upon introducing the power 2s, power 2, power 2, power 2. So we write 2, this 2, and then square bracket, parenthesis, we have a 4x minus 5. We just get the basis. So 4 x plus a 5. So this is a difference of a two squares. We just get the bases and then here we change the sign. 
to plus. And this is our answer. Let's go to question uh, three and uh, see what we're supposed to do on question uh, three. Okay, so we are now on question 3a. Question 3a is on sets. And for us to answer this, we, we put either numbers or letters in the spaces. These numbers are there to help us identify the region where we want to shade. So once you do that, you now start with a complement. Remember, we've got a complement. So you can identify your A complement, A complement. So when you list A complement, you check what is A complement. And everything that is outside A. So in A we have 1, 2, 4, 5. Don't get these. Get what is outside, say T, A. We have 3, 6, 7, and 8. So these are outside set A. After that, you identify your B union C. So what is our B union C? Everything that is in B and C. So we've got a 2, 3, 5, 6 there, 7, let me write it here, 7, 8. So these are the elements that are found in set B and set C. Okay. So next, we now identify A complement intersect B union C. Okay. So meaning the intersection of this and this. What is the intersection? So the intersection of A complement and B union C will simply be equal to a 3 is found here and here. 6 is right over here and it's here. Uh, what else? 7 is here and it's also found in this other set. So we can write them as a uh, 3 comma. I'm running out of space, so let me put it down here. 3 comma 6 comma 7. So these are the region or this is the, these are the numbers we need to uh, to shade or the positions where they are that's where we need to shade so i've got three six and seven so this is where our solution is hopefully you can see what i'm doing here you just shade nicely so this is uh, the solution for this question let's go to question 3b and see what we're supposed to do on question uh, three all right, B. so for question B, they want us to list A union B complement. So to list this, we must first start with what is inside. That is A union B. So we shall say A union B. We first need to understand what is A union B, first of all. Because complement means don't get what is inside here. A union B. So don't get A union B. So what you're going to do here will simply be to list A union B. Everything that is in set A and uh, what is in set B. So we have one, this one, we have a two, we have a three, four, five here, six, seven, and eight. So I've listed all the elements here and here. So once you get to understand what, what they are asking you not to get, which is A union B, you can now find your A union B complement. The opposite or what is not found here. So now you look at all the sets, look at everything that you have been given, starting from E. One is here, two is here, three is here, four five six seven eight so don't get come and check on the other set one is here eight is here don't get two is here three four five six and seven so meaning everything that we've listed here are found here that means we we don't have anything apart from what is here so we're going to write our answer as the empty 
we write the brackets without anything inside. Or if you don't want to write it like this, you can say, you can write it like that. That means empty set. So this is the empty set. Let's go to question uh, 4a and see what we're supposed to do on question uh, 4a. All right, so for question uh, 4a here, it's under algebra. We copy the equation. So this is a given equation. Now to solve for x, we divide both sides by a 25. So this 25 into 25, it will just give us a 1. So we shall remain with the x power 2. That is to the left-hand side. And to the right-hand side, we say 5 into 5, it's a 1. Into 25, it's a 5. So you can see we've got a 1 over a 5. So now to solve for x, we find the square root, both sides, because of power 2. And this side it will give us two solutions, negative or positive. So these two and the root will go. We shall remain with x is equal to positive or negative of root uh, one over five. Okay. So we can uh, we can even uh, simplify further. X is equal to positive or negative square root of one. It's just a one. A square root of 5, we write it eh, like this. Therefore, finally, the solutions are 1 over 5 or x will be equal to negative 1 over a 5. So these are the two solutions. Let's go to question uh, 4b and uh, see what we're supposed to do on question 4b. All right, so we've got uh, question uh, 4 b so for question 4b we need to solve we've got 2 power 2x minus 1 is equal to 16 power negative 2x so the, the the first thing that you must be thinking about whenever you see a question like this is to balance the bases laws of indices what base do we have here it's a 2 so let's write a 2 power 2x minus 1. So we must make sure that this 16 becomes a 2 power 4 so that we balance the bases. When we say 2 power 4, this is multiplying 2 by itself 4 times. It's the same as 16. Okay? So if I don't want to write 16, I write 2 power 4, it's 16. Then I put the brackets, copy the power, whichever power is up here. Okay, so that's what we're supposed to do. So upon seeing that the bases are balanced, you can see this is 2 and this is 2. Forget about the bases. Copy the powers. So we've got 2x minus 1 is equal to 4, open bracket, negative 2x, like that. So we now solve this equation. Very easy to solve. So this is giving us negative 8 x goes 2 times a negative 2x it's negative 8x we balance the bases we have 2x plus 8x is equal to a 1 we've just balanced i mean we've just grouped the like terms not balancing the bases but grouping the like terms we've got 10x is equal to a 1 because 2 plus 8 it's 10 you divide by a 10 by a 10 to solve for x so the 10 and the 10 will go we shall remain with x is equal to 1 over 10 this is our solution let's go to question 5 and see what we're supposed to do on uh, question 5 All right so for question 5a so we need to solve this equation we've got 2x minus 1 power 2 is equal to 25 so the first thing here must be to get rid of uh, a power 2. So meaning this side we shall have a uh, positive or negative 5, square root of uh, 25. While the other side we maintain what we have inside because uh, 2 and the root would disappear. So now our job is to solve uh, the two equations. 2x minus 1 is equal to a 5 or 2x minus 
1 is equal to negative 5. So these are the two equations we need to solve. We shall group the like terms. And this is what we are getting here. So 2x is equal to a 6. Divide both sides by 2 by 2. The 2 and the 2 will go. We shall remain with x is equal to 2 into 2, 1 into uh, 6. It's a 3. So I've got this as uh, our answer. The next will be the other side here. We group the like terms. So we have 2x is equal to negative 4. Divide by 2 both sides. So the 2 and the 2 will go. x will simply be equal to a negative 2. Because 2 into 2 is 1. And 2 negative 4, it's a negative 2. And these are the two solutions for question 5a. Let's check out question 5b and see what we need to do on our last question, which is question 5b. Okay, so this is the last question, question 5. We need to solve 2x power 2 plus 5x minus 3 is equal to a 0. So how do we solve? So solving this, you first need to identify your product and you also identify the sum. So for the product, you just get the number that is in front here. That is 2 times negative 3, which will give us a negative 6. And then for the sum, where x is, that's your sum. Okay, so in case you don't know what it means, when we say product, it's times. When we say sum, it's addition. So now these two numbers will help you find what we call the factors. So factors will simply be two numbers such that when you multiply them, they give you negative 6. And when you add them, they give you a 5. So those factors will be uh, 6 and negative 1. So these are the two factors. And it's a reason, uh, these are the reason why, or these numbers are the reason why we, 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 we decided to find the product and the sum. To just help us get these, na these numbers. So after getting these numbers, you now substitute them, okay? So what I mean by saying substitute, you get this, put it where 5x is. Now it will be 6x. Then minus this one, you also put it there, it will be minus x. This is 1x, so just say minus x, okay? So thereafter, you say minus 3 is equal to a 0, okay? So from here, you factorize by grouping these two and these, these two. So you shall, you shall find what is common here. It's a 2x. 2x is found here and here. So when you say 2x into x squared, it's x. 2x into uh, 6x, it will give us uh, a 3. We also find what is common here. It's a negative 1. So we shall have x plus a 3 is equal to a 0. Thereafter, we, we now... We now get what is in front of the brackets, 2x minus 1. This and this, and then you get this. The two of them just get one of them, which is equal to 0. So you shall say 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, or x plus 3 is also equal to 0. So you've got two equations. You solve them. So this one, we group the like terms. This will come this side, it will be positive. It's negative now, it will be positive. You divide by 2 to solve for x. The value of x will be equal to 1 over 2. This is one of the solutions. The other one, you come to this one, it will be negative 3. Just solve this, it will be negative 3. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Kindly remember that we've opened a center in Chingona. We've got a center. So if you want to do physical tuitions in Chingola, you can come through. We've got uh, classes from as low as uh, grade 5, 6, 7, that's for primary. For secondary, that's junior secondary, we've got 8 and 9. For senior secondary, we've got uh, 10, 11, 12. We also have uh, GCE. So make sure you enroll now with uh, us. If you are interested, you can uh, WhatsApp or call this number. That's for physical if you're in Chingona.
And if you're outside Chingola, if you're outside Chingola, remember that we offer online tuitions. Okay, we offer online tuitions. You can also get in touch with us on this same number if you're outside Chingola. We will add you to our online classes and start learning with us.